week's episode of Shine Time Coaching. This week I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of the Self Coaching with the Tarot membership area. So I thought it would be a nice thing and resource to have for folks who are considering, um, like the idea of, wanting to know more about, curious about, all things to do with the Self Coaching with the Tarot membership area. Um, so let's get down to it. So I'm already on the open page, as you can see here. And um, when you come to the membership area, um, it, there's different sections that you can explore. And just to give a little background information, the self-coaching with the tarot is the coaching with the tarot modality that I use. Um, and it is a, you know, when I'm working with others, as well as what I use for myself. And it is a coaching informed way of looking at tarot and, and using tarot. And what it is, is for folks who want to kind of learn more about it, who want to learn tarot in this way, who want to adapt their tarot practice a wee bit to be more um, from this perspective, a coaching kind of perspective, um, and it's for folks who are starting out a tarot practice. There's tons of beginner stuff in there, um, but also for folks who are already tarot practitioners um, at any level. And there's supports there for from everyone from the beginners all the way up to like intermediate expert level <laughs> tarot tarot readers. Um, so this is really geared towards people who uh, want to practice tarot. I feel you could use this support, this resource if you weren't a tarot reader and use it from sort of a journaling perspective. But I do think it is it is more geared towards people who want to use tarot, um, as I do. <laughs> My whole business is based on working with folks using both tarot and coaching. So this is, you know, the teacher in me has a tough time <laughs> being completely let go. Um, I'm a natural, I kind of naturally lean that way towards teaching, um, sharing, um, supportive practices in terms of people developing their own their own way of working um and so this this is where this has been born from um i used to have a teachable page and it just didn't feel like it was the right place and um, and so the teachable resources there have been turned into guides there's a beginner's guide and an intermediate guide which you can find in the guides section the downloadable section of the website um, but I wanted something more and I wanted to start to develop a sort of community based thing um, where folks can come and learn this style of co of tarot and coaching um, for themselves and they can dip in and out of. So there's a 10 month, 10 pound a month subscription. Um, you are welcome to come and go as suits you best. This is not something that you will be like strapped into. Um, I've got people who dip in and out. I've got people who use it daily as a resource to, you know, uh, check in. I've got people who um, use it in all different kinds of ways. The So I'm going to start moving around. I realize I'm talking to the camera and I haven't actually moved around. So I want to show you a bit about the membership before I get into too much. So on the website is a members area section you can see here. Um, when you click on it, you come to this open page called Self Coaching with Tarot, and it explains a little bit more about it. So you can get to this point without becoming a member. Once you click on any of the sections, you would be, um, it would be that like, you would be asked if you want to become a member. Um, there are two options to becoming a member. There is a ten pound a month monthly subscription. There's also now a uh, members plus option, which is forty pounds a month, and that's everything in the membership area as you would for the £10 a month, plus a monthly 40-minute session with me. And that 40-minute session can be on anything you'd like at all. It can be on um, a bit of mentoring around a tarot practice. It can be um, some tarot polls. Uh, it can be pulling cards and doing some coaching with you. It could be like any questions you want to um explore around tarot it can be anything it can be used any way you like but that would be a for every month we would meet up and have a 40 45 minute session together so when you first come into the members area and you've signed up i would love everyone to go and read the welcome read first section here 
Um, I think that's really important because it sort of outlies or outlays everything about this <laughs> whole, whole place, this whole community section, this membership area. Um, we've got the five pillars. We've got a user guide, just a general guide of how you may want to use it. Um, terms and conditions, which is really, really important, although none of us love to have to use terms and conditions, but it is really important to have a shared understanding of what expectations are here. Um, and then I've also got an acknowledgement and lineage. Um, there's also a link to a private podcast, which I will share with you in a wee bit. So going back, what you have is some sections. We've got the read first, which I've just kind of gone through. You've got a tarot's tips, hints and spreads. That's where all the information around all the supports and guidance around anything to do with tarot specifically is there. And then you've got a coaching with the major arcana, which is where we've gone through. And um, from my perspective, my coaching lens, the coaching with the tarot lens, um, you've got information for of all the major arcana. And then you've got one for each of the of the um, suits. You've got the swords, cups, wands, and pentacles, as you can see. And then I've also got a private podcast. Um, so that's to answer any questions that members may have to address members and member issue, member site, you know, membership issues specifically there. Um, so let's go back. Let's get into it. So in the tarot tips, hints and spreads, it is full of, you also get membership discounts. So you get 15% off everything. Um, I'm going to go past that one because it gives it away a little bit. <laughs> so we've got tarot fun facts. We've got tarot resources. Um, we've got tarot cheat sheets and how to make your own. There's a couple things in there that are really cool. Um, information about how to choose a deck, some supports around that, how to get to know your deck and becoming we besties, what to do if you don't become besties with your deck, <laughs> some different pulls and spreads, um, information about the rows and the columns and the, and the style that I use, um, and where that comes from. And, and this gets updated every month is the tarot and the zodiac. And then there's room for, you'll see this coming soon because everything here is about growing as we go. So all of these are going to be updated. They're all going to be added to like the tarot um, pulls and spreads will be added to all the time because it is about growing and evolving and like I just want it to be a resource that people want to come back to all the time and that they feel is really really supportive not something that's like been made and then just kind of stagnant and stays there my understanding of the cards and how to use them changes as well and so I want to take you know take that into account and um, there's lots I have like a list of things I want to do and add to this that we're going to um we're going to work on that I'm going to work on. So for example, I want to have a resource around, I work with birth cards and year cards and what those might mean for people. So there's a resource here for you to come and have a look at that and to, and to engage with that. I want to have a, a section that's all about symbolism and what, so that you can look at a card and use, pick out the symbolism on the card and what it might mean and help to help you inform and to understand and to learn, you know, to read cards without not memorizing them, but to understand the cards a wee bit better. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of things. I've just, my brain's like, wee, and I'll, and I'll be adding to them. So just to give you an example of what kind of resources I'll go into the tarot cheat sheet. So when you're in this section here, I have my personal cheat sheet, which I've already updated and replaced two times, and I'm sure I'll do again. So that's in here for you to use because I haven't done um, coaching with the tarot for every single um, card yet, uh, but that's growing as we go. So there's a cheat sheet there to keep you going. Um, there's also notes about how you can make your own cheat sheet. There's also a minor mix and match resource as well to help you understand. Um, we don't do we don't focus on the memorization of cards here it's about genuinely learning the cards the imagery the meanings everything for ourselves you know as well as learning from you know wonderful teachers and people who have gone before us so that's in that section there that's just an example um i also have in terms of like say for example this which deck is best there's some considerations for how you would maybe choose a deck and what to keep in mind. But I also have a whole bunch of decks at the base of the thing that you can um, look through and see if any of them catch your eye or if you like any of them. So there's 
lots of um, resources there for you. This thing, I mean, it is full. <laughs> it's so full and it's only going to grow. Um, I need to be mindful not to make it overwhelming. So I'm trying to always think about how I lay it out and how it's organized. Um, but yes, so for example, there's this tarot and the zodiac section. We're currently in the cancer season and there's some really lovely information there about it some of the, the general themes of what might come up based on the tarot not the like yes the astrology but i'm a tarot reader so it's the it's from the tarot perspective rather than the astrology perspective if you want any more detail about astrology um then you definitely need to work with a, an astrologer and i can highly recommend one <laughs> my wonderful friend shadi atash um healing is just spot on um and then there's also some coaching sort of considerations around some of the general themes that might be coming up for you. Because, of course, each season will, will you know, some of us will love cancer season or, you know, appreciate it more. And some of us will absolutely hate it. <laughs> so depending on what's going on in our own personal charts, you know, that changes. But that gets updated every month, every season. So um, that'll be coming up soon. And just, yeah, there's lots and lots of information there. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. This has just been started. So um, I've got three sort of sections here about my favorite, most favorite thing is just pulling one card a day. Single card pulls, baby, for the win. Um, clarity cards. And then I've got a little three card spread section here. So this resource in particular is like chock full of goodness, especially for folks who are wanting to start out in a tarot practice or folks who already are um dabbling um and yeah like i said right up to expert level folks i say expert loosely you know what i mean <laughs> people who've been reading for years it's just a completely different take like i learn from so many different people around tarot and every time i learn from someone else it's like a different perspective and i pay i take away something you know really special with that so so that's that section and then if you are pulling cards and you want a little bit more of a meaning around them, you would go into your different sections depending on which card you pulled. So the Major Arcana are all together here. Um, give a little bit of a background about how I structure cards. And then um, we've got the Coaching With. So if the Fool comes up, it gives you lots of information there about its position, its element, its astrological connections, its symbolism, the themes that might be coming up around that, the general themes, the co coaching prompts, and any other cards that might be related to. Um, like, hello, <laughs> says a lot. Um, you'll see some of them have more detail than others because what I'm doing is as I am building a resource on Instagram as well, I'm also building my own one here, my own hard copy. And as I do this, um, for my own hard copy, I then create an Instagram one about it. And then I update the one that's here. So there's some basics for all the major arcana, but you'll see that um, up to the higher front, which will be updated next week. Um, it's a lot more information and that's going to build every time I do a new card. So that's what we're saying here. There's lots already and also it's going to just get better and better. So that's all the major arcana we've got there. And then when we go into coaching with the swords, you'll see I'm slowly building this up. Each month I add another card to it. So, so far we've got the ace, twos and threes and the queen's king. So I started off with the ace and I jumped all the way to the king's because I really wanted folks to see where you're starting out and where you're going towards um, within each of the suits. But don't forget, there's also this cheat sheet here um, that you can go have a look at for all the cards. So you're not left going, but I pulled, I pulled the five. <laughs> what do I do with the five? Um, you just head to the cheat sheet and there's some really good information there for you to get started. So for example, cheat sheet, that takes us there. And we could go to the Five of Swords, right? So there's some really good, just to get you started and going. I obviously, I don't know if that's obvious or not, but my whole vibe here is for folks to learn tarot for themselves, but from a really like heart-centered, gentle, curious, um, supportive way, um, and honest, in an honest way. And I think that... Um, 
I'm really proud. I'm really proud of the work that I've done with my own practice and how I'm, you know, the things I've created to help support other people. So you've got that sort of vibe with the cups, the wands and the pentacles as well, where you'll have the one, two, three so far. Um, and then you'll have the queen and king, but you also have it in the, in the cheat sheet. And the last thing, which I think is really cool, and I'm hoping that this picks up a little bit more in terms of as we have more members, we've got a good chunk of members already. Hi, members. Um, but, you know, the more that this builds, hopefully people feel like they have questions and they want to know more or they're curious about or they get stuck with something or whatever around this you know, um, modality, then you can some come here and submit a question or I often ask questions as well over on Instagram that you can ask and I will answer it for just for you. So it's a members only episode. Um, you can see I haven't done one for May or June yet, so I'll need to do that. <laughs> um, it's, we've been busy. We've been busy. It's fine. But it, you'll see that there's titles for them so that you know, here's one about memories in the cards and here's one about clarity cards here me talking about people were asking questions about this you know what do you do when you feel disconnected from you, you know the card or a card what do you do when you pull, pull reversals you'll notice that I haven't done reversal reversals yet and I do work with reversals so I will be doing reversals <laughs> and adding to that um they're just an added bit of information for each card and they just add a little depth to it and a little bit more like oomph to it so um, I will be doing that. But the whole thing is like, I wanted, I worked really hard behind the scenes to create something that people could come to and use now. Um, and it'd be really of value um, for the 10 pounds a month. And it, and I believe very strongly and have gotten the feedback. I had some beta readers um, and I have had the feedback from the current um, folks that they're just, yeah, it's extremely supportive. It's extremely, um, you know, resourced and that they're finding it really um, a wonderful resource for them to use which is beautiful to hear um, and also it's going to get better and better and better and I love the idea of us having um, hangouts and I'll do like members only um, workshops and all things like that so once we build up a bit of a, a group here then I'll start doing some of those things as well. So if this is your jam and you'd love to join us, then we would love to have you. And um, all you need to do is head to shinetimecoaching.com and the members area and then click on any of the member sections and you will be um, directed to, you know, follow the instructions to join. Um, remember, you have an option to do £10 a month, which is wonderful. Um, and then also... You can opt to do the £40 a month, which would include a session with me each month, which I can't wait to start doing. Um, and if you are a member already or you become a member and you think can think of anyone who would love this and this is their vibe and you would like, you know that they would be a good fit, please, please pass it on because the goal here is to build up a wee bit of a community of similar minded not like you know what I mean we don't have to think the same way I don't mean that I mean like people who get it people are here for it all all of all all types of people who come to this space and are vibing with this thing and it makes sense to them and it supports them that's who we want to have here and um so far so good because I just have the most wonderful folks in this community so far um and it would just be nice to have a, a few more and then you know it just works out that way. It works well that way. So yes, if you can think of anyone and you're like, they would love this or this would be their thing or you've heard someone speaking about trying, you wanted to try out tarot, this is the perfect spot for them. Thank you for joining, the, joining me this week. Just so we know, I will be actually on holiday for the next two weeks. So there will be no um, podcast for the next two weeks, but I'll be back after that with a few more, of course. Um, there's Meanwhile, enjoy the membership area. That's a great place to, to toddle about while I'm away. <laughs> and um, don't forget as well, you can always join the newsletter crew to, keep, you know, to get any updates so that you know what's going on. Um, and that's just one month, one time a month. I don't over um, email folks because I know how annoying that is. But yes, thank you for joining me. Uh, and thank you. Well, you know, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And uh, we'll see you hopefully there. Take care.